Hey, what's up guys? Will here for JSM Arena. If you're looking to get a new iPhone, but don't want to go all in for a pro model, there are a couple of other options. The first, of course, is the vanilla iPhone 16, the base model. And then there's the iPhone 16 Plus, which is the same sort of device, but bigger. What exactly is the difference between the two, and which is better for you? Let's put the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus head to head and find out. It's hardly a secret that the main difference between these two phones is just their size. The iPhone 16 is meant to be a compact device, and the Plus model is significantly taller and wider, and it weighs about 30 grams more. Otherwise, the design is the same, with a glass back and aluminum frame. On either phone, you'll get the hardware action key, which was exclusive to last year's iPhone Pro models. It's a button you can assign to open one of a few predefined actions, or one of your own custom shortcuts. And then there's the brand new camera control key. You can use it to start the camera, to access and change settings on the fly, and of course to shoot photos and take videos, all without having to touch the display. One reason you might prefer the Plus model is its larger screen. It has a 6.7 inch OLED with a high resolution and a 60 hz refresh rate. Meanwhile, the iPhone 16 has a 6.1 inch OLED, again with a 60 hz refresh rate. Some people just prefer a larger display for consuming their content, and the pill-shaped notch cutout for the selfie cam takes up less of the whole viewing area on the Plus. Otherwise, the performance of these screens is the same, with excellent brightness and support for HDR10+, and Dolby Vision Video. Of course, that also includes the 60Hz refresh rate. The lack of a high refresh rate means that on either phone, the swiping and scrolling is less smooth to the eye than on the higher-end iPhones. When it comes to audio, both phones have a stereo speaker setup with very good loudness and equally great sound quality. Both the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus run on Apple's new A18 chipset and have 8 gigs of RAM. So naturally, you get the same performance with no difference in benchmark scores. There's a lot of power on either phone for anything you might want to do. Since the Plus has a larger battery, it's also got better battery life. The iPhone 16 earned a great active use score in our battery life tests, but the iPhone 16 Plus went way above and beyond that. It's got some of the best battery life around. Despite the difference in battery size, the charging speed isn't so different between these two iPhones. The iPhone 16 gets a little more juice in a 30 minute charge, but charging to full takes about the same time on either phone. And now the cameras, which are the same on both iPhones. There's a 48 megapixel main cam, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide cam which has autofocus. As you'd expect from two devices with the same cameras, chipsets, and software, the photos from the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus are identical. They're clean and sharp, with Apple's signature look when it comes to colors and contrast. Foliage and grass look good, and the dynamic range is excellent. And there's no surprises when it comes to the low light performance either. It's identical across the board. The iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus have the same 12 megapixel selfie camera, and selfies look identical from either phone. And here's a look at 4K selfie videos from both of these phones. 4K videos in general are clean and sharp from either phone. The iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus live up to Apple's reputation for industry-leading video capture. So there you have it, the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus. The iPhone 16 is lighter and more compact, while providing basically the same user experience at a lower price. The iPhone 16 Plus, on the other hand, has the larger display, and it has the larger battery, which sets it up to have some of the best battery life around. In the end, neither phone is better than the other. It's all about your preference for display size, and the battery life could factor into it too. Either way, both of these would be an excellent choice. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.